All right, so in this demo, I'm going to use element queries because I like to use that. Um, this adds element queries, scope CSS, and the ability to evaluate JavaScript right inside my styles. So now let's add some divs. Um, we're going to add different width and height to these so that we can test aspect ratio. So I'm just going to add a few. Now let's write some styles. So first, we'll write at element div, and this is going to be a scope for every div element. So in here, for each div, we'll use this. So that applies to each of those divs. So let's give it some style so we can see. Now we're going to try to make the width the same as the width attribute, so width and then we do eval, because we're going to use JavaScript to grab this. So eval, um, it's going to output the value, and then we need a unit. So I'm going to use px, um, get attribute width. So now it's going to be 50 px. Do the same for height, and uh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so now it's grabbing width and height attributes as though they're px values in CSS. This doesn't make them responsive, though. We, we need them to be full width. So let's get rid of the width. Now all we need to do is kind of divide those two by each other and uh, the current width. So offset width divided by uh, width divided by height. And that should be responsive. So let's test this out. Excellent. Look at that. Something I wish CSS could do.